Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. It is uh, Father's Day and we're out here in the shop. My kids were uh, fantastic to me today. Everybody was well behaved like normal. And they also got me some cool new uh, gifts that uh, I really appreciate. So a while ago, um, I went ahead and purchased, as you guys know, I really enjoy uh, hand planes. And I went ahead and got this uh, British Plane Makers 4th Edition because I had the um, American or the United States uh, or North America, whatever you want to say, um, little pocket size travel edition for plane makers that I could quickly look up information. And the British plane makers has a, a crazy amount of information in it, and I really enjoyed it and how detailed it was. So I wanted the uh, the American wooden plane book, and I finally got it. Uh, they got it for me this morning and um, I haven't really had too much time to look in it but I know it gives a lot more detail than just the little pocket size um, it gives all sorts of people are, are in here and uh, it's very detailed and right here in the beginning it gives a thanks to everybody that helped join in on it uh, tells where the main planes were when they first were brought to the uh, uh, United States. Um, the rating scale that's on there, what's a plane worth, um, how common some of these planes are. So pretty much the same thing as the pocket edition, except this is a lot more detail about uh, where they were, what the people did, stuff like that. So I'm super happy that uh, I got this. Right, so right here you can see that I've got a, a little bit of a mess right here. This is a cutting board that I'm working on. It is a zigzag pattern. I got a video on how to actually make this. I'm super happy with how it's turning out. Uh, do lo did learn that I gotta make um, my cuts a little bit more precise before glue ups and stuff like that. But for my first kind of crazy looking uh, zigzag cutting board I'm very happy with this all right so with that being said when I was doing that and I went to go glue it up and cut up the pieces I realized that when I did joint a couple of the pieces of boards some of them weren't square when I'm playing down completely it just wasn't gonna be squared up so I had those already gluing up and then I got to this stick and realized it wasn't gonna work so instead of trying to cut it and make it fit and making it look odd, I decided to keep this out of the batch. And I actually fixed it, put it back on the vise, squared it up. And so I, I glued them all together and it's a uh, crazy looking pattern. I'm hoping you guys can see the mixture of purple heart and maple right in here so you can see that i got maple and purple heart mixed together just like in the cutting board um, and i had plans on taking this and trying to figure out how to turn it down into like a um, mini mallet or like a pencil holder or something like that and uh, I, didn't, I don't have a good way to do that. My lathe I got from Harbor Freight, it's not very set up well to do something like that. But it so turns out that one of the other surprises which I was totally shocked by was um, something to help with that. And so as you can see, I have my lathe tucked away up in the rafters of my shop. I don't really ever use it. Um, I really got frustrated with it. Uh, changed out some tools and I got a good set of tools for it. So I got a good set of tools for it But it was still very difficult to turn different things on here. So I'm gonna pull this down and show you guys got the tool that I got to uh, help out with that All right, so as you guys can see I finally got the, the lathe down on my workbench I got clamped down to the bench. Um, I don't have a dedicated area for it. So when I use it I clamp it down with two uh, Bessie clamps. But anyway, so it comes with this whole setup. Um, pretty much that. Uh, you got a wrench, a uh, face plate, and then the part that hammers into uh, your workpiece. And then it goes in this uh, live center end, and then you can turn stuff. But as you can see, there's it's, it's not very... Uh, I guess practical for 
turning bowls and things like that because to do a bowl you would either have to like super glue two pieces of wood together and then screw it on or screw it on and then you'd have holes in the bottom of your bowl um so uh i mean i've turned different things i've turned a couple of these mallets before and these work just fine i have had those for a long time um, but uh, the turning tools i had weren't very good so i upgraded to this uh, rikon set and these were fantastic um, loved using them and uh, then i pretty much just stopped because uh, i couldn't find a good way to uh, turn everything together so these kind of went uh, to the side have been sitting for some time so until today i've been researching a lot lately and trying to figure out a way that i can upgrade my harbor freight lathe to an actual good usable uh lathe that uh, i can be happy with so give me one moment so one of the things that i've been ha i always had trouble with is trying to find something that would fit the end of a harbor freight lathe to adapt it to put on like a four jaw chuck something like that that way i could turn down an end of something then chuck it up and then be able to like turn a bowl things like that until uh i recently came across a good post that showed me how to turn a harbor freight lathe into something good all right so this is all being made possible for me to upgrade and uh, be able to use this a lot more in my opinion and make it a better benefit to my shop by uh, getting this it's a three quarter by 10 tpi lathe headstock to one inch by eight tpi male so pretty much um, we got a three quarter inch to uh, 10 tpi to um that one to eight p or tpi uh, adapter so you can see the difference in the uh, little headstock pieces and this is made by psi woodworking uh, you can get this off of amazon and uh, this to me is going to be a game changer so what it is is you pretty much screw this on there and uh, we'll end up making it nice and tight before using it so now the other part of the equation is actually getting a, a set of jaws or the truck and uh i went ahead and also off of amazon so this is pretty much like a package deal you can get both of them off of amazon at one time is i think you pronounce this when and it's a four jaw chuck and it's uh super oily right now so i'm gonna wipe it off i haven't even put this on the lathe yet but i have uh kind of opened and closed it a little bit just to uh make sure that everything was working as it should and this was just done inside the house but as you can see there it is there's the four jaw chuck and uh it opens and it even comes with uh like a screw i guess if you want to uh, screw on a piece of wood and then you can put it in there and actually clamp the screw part down in there but this is really what I was after. So as you turn it, it opens it up. And then as you, if you have like a smaller spindle or something like that, you can close it around. And then if you have a bowl and uh, you wanna turn the bottom or like clean off the backside, you would put the bowl in there um, I guess the max that you could do is a four inch right now, but uh, I've seen a lot of other chucks that have the same um, the same one inch eight TPI uh, threads on there. So having the adapter is awesome. This will give me uh, the next step to get me to using the lathe more. So let's go ahead and put this on the lathe. All right, so I mean, just like that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on here and uh, that should be plenty fine and then we've got these two pieces or like two little handles right here that you put in the holes 
and if you want to open it you pretty much turn the jaws clockwise and it opens it up and then if you want to close it you go ahead and turn it uh, counterclockwise just like that and that is going to be the uh, new setup here in the shop for the lathe so right here you got your win self-centering lathe chuck the four inch and then your psi woodworking headstock adapter so just as an example you know this is what it does it, it'll clamp around the spindle or whatever you need to be making um, so this has to stay to where it's not going to get any damage or something you always bring the live edge in and poke it in the, the bottom of it but uh, that's what it does it's all hooked up and you just tighten it down and this is really nice and tight and solid so i'm happy with that so this is going to be a really big game changer for me not only am i going to be able to turn down this right here which i thought i was just going to have to kind of fiddle around with to make it work but now i'll actually be able to trim it down and put it in there and actually make it work or not make it work but it will work now and a while ago a buddy of mine actually gave me two chunks of wood so i'll be able to turn something out of these as well maybe cut them in a, a couple different sections and make some smaller bowls with them or something like that but uh, this will be a good practice time for me and uh, i got this set up i think i'm good to go now i can't wait to actually get some wood put in here over the next week or so and get making stuff on this and turning things so stay tuned for some cool videos on that hopefully we'll get some uh, neat little things made so thanks for watching guys happy father's day to all you dads out there thanks for joining me if you guys are new hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys on the next video